When I look back, I didn't anticipate that this was going to be a success story. We have had the two Puffins uh, born this year, and it's just really cool to see their milestones for the first time. And the moment that Edith gave birth and Scarlett uh, was brought in to our department, it's been a journey unlike any other. Kari has come into his own. He's really developed into a brave little penguin. So you can see he's not so little anymore. He's a full-grown juvenile. So he has his silver feathers. And I mean, look at him now, he's huge. He's the biggest of all four of our juveniles. Knowing that his future looked bleak at the start and seeing what he's turned into and developed into is pretty amazing and awe-inspiring. It was with a dedicated team working with him over 24 hours a day for several weeks to get him to a stable point and to see him grow and thrive and develop into this robust juvenile who is inquisitive and gregarious and really likes his trainers and likes training. Uh, it's been pretty remarkable. Hi, good girl. Are you hungry? There you go. Today we moved Fern, our first tufted puffin chick, into the habitat. Good girl. Just a girl and her bird. <laughs> We're not exactly sure how this is going to go, so... Fern, are you ready? She's probably like, not even coming out. <laughs> oh! She is brave! <laughs> what makes me the most excited about today is just kind of seeing everything that we've done come to fruition and have her out here on the habitat with all the other birds, not just for our successes, but now so that all the public can see her. She has been in some off exhibit holding for a little bit, so now for her to be out here, everyone else can get to um, see her, and enjoy her, and kind of get to know her just like we have. Scarlett has recently been weaned uh, from her mom, Edith, and uh, we, you know, we cut up some small pieces of capelin and herring to try to entice her to eat. Uh, and knowing Scarlett, she was not into the small pieces. She actually, the first fish she ate was an entire capelin. Um, went right down the hatch and ever since she's been a very hearty eater. It has just been incredible watching her transition from a tiny little pup that can barely move her flippers to getting up on a station and participating in sessions with her trainers, but still maintaining her very unique uh, personality. Um, it's just been so fun. There's no other way to describe it. She's awesome. <coughs> the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is being able to bring Scarlett out uh, in one of our public presentations and be able to share uh, the love that we have for her with all of our guests and for them to get to see uh, the progression as well. But just seeing her walk out uh, for the first time in front of an audience of people and guests that have come here just to see her, uh, that's going to be a moment unlike any other. Working at the Georgia Aquarium enables us to get a rare opportunity to watch these animals come into the world. We get to watch them grow, hit milestones, and thrive. It's one of the main reasons we do what we do.